Well, welcome to my treasure room slash studio. Today, I'm gonna to take you behind the scenes with Preacher Digger. I'm gonna show you all the recording equipment that I use. I'm gonna show you the different cameras that I used in the past and what I'm doing now. And I'm gonna show you how I set up different angles to make the YouTube uh, video kind of stand out from all the rest, not just a point and show and tell, but to bring you along the journey of adventure with me as I treasure hunt. And in the end, I'm gonna show you some editing software, how I edit my program, and show you some basic, simple editing cuts that will really make your video stand out amongst the rest. So if you're interested in camera equipment and recording equipment and angles and editing, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's go to editing now. Let me show you how I lay it all out and let me do some editing. Now one thing about doing a lot of video editing, if you're gonna do a lot of multiple tracks and multiple levels of uh, video and then one soundtrack and different effects and stuff like that, you really need to have a good uh, video uh, computer that's gonna be able to do video, I'm trying to say. These are called gaming computers. And this, there's nothing on this thing but just set up for like video gaming and video uh, editing. I put 16 gig of RAM in this. Uh, you can see on the inside of it, uh, it's really neat. Of course, I got my logo on it. And I got a nice 32 inch monitor where I can lay it all out. The uh, program that I use is Sony Vegas uh, 14, which is a professional uh, video. Uh, editing software. This, this, this software is about 500 bucks for this one, and that's even more expensive if you give a newer version. Let's get now onto the screen capture, and let's put, continue to put the rest of the video footage, and then we're going to import it in here, and I'm going to show you how to do some editing. But this is uh, my editing software that I use. Up here is all the different uh, things that I import. This is my media pool, and uh, this has uh, where I can import things in. This is all my transitions over here. Uh, has all these different video effects that you can scroll through and do different effects. And this is the media generator if you want to put a solid text, uh, uh, you know, different type of titles, uh, credit rolls, stuff like that. It's really simple. It's not that hard once you get to use it for a few times. But uh, we just go up here. What I do, once I get all of my information, all my video files off of my phones, I import them into my computer. And uh, they, just, they just come up uh, like this right here. And then I just go find it wherever it is. And then I just bring it up into all my, my folders here. So it's in my folder. And I'm still putting some videos together on this phone. I haven't put on there yet. But uh, all I do is go here. I'm going to import these into my media. And uh, I'm just going to uh, go over here and just find. Let's see. This is going to be in Preacher Digger folder. We're going to go. It's, we said it was episode 138 behind the scenes and so there they are here's all the video clips I'm gonna capture all of that and I'm just gonna import them as you can see they're importing right here and we're just gonna save that and so it takes a second to do all that and uh, once I get all the video clips back into my phone and then I will lay them out on a track and just kind of show you some different cuts that you can use to be real simple cuts in video editing it makes it just better like I said a lot of people don't want just a show and tell, just your perspective and looking at, at, at the find and just in the front of your camera. People really want to see your face. People want to see your surroundings. People want to be in with you on this treasure hunt adventure. Let's, let me show you some of these cuts here. There's nine different cuts in video editing, and I'm going to show you just a few of them here, the ones that I mainly use to, to show you how it really works, okay? So let's uh, flip over here to the screen. And all we're going to do is we're going to go right up here and we're going to hit file. We're going to import these three in. And there they are. I, I labeled them audio one, two, and three. So let's open them up, import them. And what we're going to do now is that we're just going to kind of resize our screen a little bit. And we're going to just bring track one down. And uh, we're going to bring track two down. And we're going to bring track three down. And... Uh, so let's make these just a little bit bigger here, and we'll make the tracks a little bit bigger for you. And uh, so there they go. And so you can see right here, right here, and right here, I want to line these tracks up. So I'm just going to go down here and, and uh, kind of take off some of this 
And right there is where I want to start. You hear how the echo is? They're not synced up at all. But watch this. We're going to put that track right there. We're going to bring this track down and sync it up right there. And then we're going to take this third track and we're going to bring it right. Let's see here. We'll bring it right up there. Now listen to the tracks. Let me turn the volume up a little bit. Okay. I've got now it sounds like one track, going. even though there's three voice eight. tracks going on, well, it's actually, only one voice track sounds right like. Here. So let's stop here. that. So now I know that that is synced up. So I'm going to just kind of just reduce all my tracks down to this one size right here. And uh, the voice track that I used is this voice track down here oh, with my wireless. Okay, so we want to use that voice track. So what we're going to do is just going to go here. We're going to just clear that uh, voice track there off. And let's just clear all these voice tracks here. We're just going to do that. What I mean is I'm going to take this and we're going to delete that voice track. All right, and we can delete this uh, track there. We're going to delete that voice track. Uh, so let's uh, take that off. Let's delete that track. Now bring that up there. And so now I've got one voice track, as you can see, and I've got uh, three video tracks. And so what I want to do now is just bring all these down because they're all synced up. And so I'm just going to bring them all there. See, it turns pink when it's not synced, but it turns back white when it's synced. And so what I want to do now is I want to make these different cuts. I want to go to different angles. So let's just play I've got that. Three camera angles going. I got camera A. So right there when we said camera A. I got camera A. All right. So I want to I want to flip over into camera A. And so what I want to do is just make a cut right here on all of these like this. And uh this is going to be camera A down here on the bottom. I got camera A. Well, actually, camera A is going to be this camera okay. right here. Camera B over here, camera C. Okay, camera B, C, and what I'm going to do, right here, just to illustrate B, this real here. quick, let's just make another cut right here. And so when I was uh, pointing, camera right here, camera B over here. All right, camera B over here. Over here, camera C over here. All right, so we're going to make another cut right there. So what we want to do is we're going to take this out. We'll bring this up on that one. See, since we don't need those, we can delete these tracks now. We can just take all that off. We'll leave the voice track. And then we're going to go back over here. And we're going to split these out again. All right. And then we're going to take this track off. We're going to put this track up there and that off. Now. When we go back and hit play, watch my monitor up here. Three camera angles going. I got camera A. Well, actually, camera A is going to be this camera right here. Camera B over here. See how? Over here. See how they all I switched all that? And that's just going to be one way of, of looking at that. And I, I'll play it for you again, uh, starting right here. Of the three well, tracks. Actually, camera A is going to be this there's right my first. Here. When camera I point, B I'm cutting over to that one, and then I cut over to that one. Video. And that's how simple it is to do video editing. And uh, and so it's it's going to be a lot of fun to do that. And so I enjoy doing it. And uh, so uh, uh, hopefully you learned something. So let's move on to some other things and different editing cuts. Video, we're going to go up here. We're just going to we're going to open up a, uh, a uh, video that I did to kind of show you some of these different angles, uh, different things that I've done. And it's that video that I did not very long ago called Barbers and Indians. And so let's just go in there and let's bring up this, uh, take a second just to load it. Let's bring this up and I'm going to show you how I did kind of a, a, a time lapse and uh, different things like that. And we'll just show you on the screen. Uh, I know this program is a little bit more com complex than what you're used to, but right here you can see just on my, uh, my display screen up here, all the different little cuts that I had on there. Uh, but to do, just to make this one thumbnail, I put a blue sky background. I put me in there uh, with my hand that I had taken the background out. I put my barber dime in there. Uh, there's my main title. 
Uh, there's my subtitle, there's my episode number, and here is my YouTube. And all that, each one of these things on here is a different uh, um, a level. And so one thing that I like to do at the very beginning is I like to do a uh, kind of an intro. I call it a teaser. Some people call it a hook. And so you want to find probably your best find and then then show it up to that find, then cut it off to the main title, and that way you hook them and you want people to watch the rest of it to see where it's going to be at. And so how I kind of do that is, it's like this. So as a cut there, there's a cut there. Then I have another cut here. And then I have another cut here. I show it, reveal it, then cut it to my main title. I always try to do that. And you can always tell in my videos that I'm doing that because it's in black and white. If you look up there in the di this display screen, it's in black and white. And, uh, and then I go to my main title. And another thing is then I, I go into my, what I call my intro. Uh, and here is my intro. As it plays on out, there's a cut there. That's me in my closet, my detector, then my cut there, hit the subscribe button, put that in there for sure. Then me looking to the camera and me going to the truck. That's another cut. And then as soon as I open the door, there's a camera sitting on my seat or stuck on my window. That's a cut. All these cameras are running simultaneously. I just do the editing. Then me open up. Then here's a shot with the the, uh, the rear view mirror uh, mount. And then there we go. Here's my time lapse. I've turned my camera around. This is my GoPro doing a time lapse. And see, I'm bringing you on a journey. You're going with me now. This is what I'm trying to illustrate, that you're going with me. And uh, then here I go into a transition straight into my drone shot. And that's me actually driving my truck and flying my drone at the same time. I don't recommend doing that. And uh, another cut there and then me turning in. I had my drone stationary where I was turning in. And then, boom. Then I bring it up and then I'm there. Uh, and then I'm on location and I kind of describe what I'm going to be doing. And so I always kind of do that hook the title slide, then I do my intro. Sometimes I do my intros differently. Each one is a new intro. Most every video is a different type of intro. I may change it up. I may use the same one from time to time. And, uh, but I, here I like to to just kind of be in an intro, as you can see up on the screen. On, uh, just kind of, again, reminding people to, to subscribe. And then kind of talking about what we were doing and where we're going to be at. And then... Here is where I kind of show everybody. I, I kind of show them. Then I, I cut to see, let, let you see the place where I'm at now. You're getting a feel what I'm seeing, what I'm feeling. I'm just not going straight to a show and tell type of thing. And then, uh, and then I get down to my first find. And everybody has said that they, they, they like to know the numbers. You know, they like to see it. So I make sure that... I'm showing you my numbers on my Equinox. There, there's a cut to the drone shot, and my drone is just flying in hover mode, and it's tracking me wherever I go. It's, it's all I gotta do is put my finger on it and track it. And then, so here is here's one shot, one angle. Here's two angles, and then there's three angles. And then I'm back up to the top angle again, and then I cut back down to this angle. You're seeing from my perspective, and then you're seeing it like you were standing beside me watching me. And see, now you kind of get it behind the scenes too. And this is what I really like. Then you do a close-up with me, trying to find it. Then I bring out again, back out, and you're there with me again. And uh, you kind of see behind the scenes with the camera right there. Then another high angle. And uh, so I like doing those types of shots because you're kind of in the sense with me. You're there with me. So that's some of the different angles that you can do. And uh, I'll show you another uh, uh, example. I have to get over there to it. Let me see if I can find it uh, right quick. And here it is right here. And let's watch this angle. So I come back in here. This is a new dig. Again, I'm showing you my number. Then I cut over to another angle. You're kind of seeing it with me. And then I go back over to this other angle. Try to live dig it. That way you're bringing it in with me. And, uh, and then I'll just skip ahead a little bit right here. And then we're trying to find it. 
So I keep cutting there. And now you're with me trying to find the treasure so that you have this one angle here. And then I cut wide. And, and so I notice my camera is a little bit off, so I make sure I turn my camera for you so you can see it with me. And then I go back into the close-up, camera A, and there it is, the barber dime right there. And watch how I cut back and show it to you in a wide angle here. Watch this. See that? That's just a cool shot. It's just kind of it doesn't take much to do it. There's one other uh, angle, one other shot I want to do here. It's right here. This is what I call a transition. I'm moving from one location to another location. So I wanted to kind of wrap my spot up and then move to the other location. And watch what I do. I do I, I do a movement with my drone showing me, and then I also do a time lapse uh, on it as well. Watch this. And so here I'm on my drone shot, and notice the music comes in on the transition. And so it's tracking me. My drone, I'm not doing anything. I'm just, the drone has got a, a, a square around me and it's just tracking me is all it's doing. It's real simple to do that. Then here's a great time lapse of the clouds going by with me out in the field. And, uh, and then my music comes to a stop. Me. All right. And now I'm transitioning over. And I thought that was a cool little shot right there. And, uh, and then at the end of my videos, um, I kind of do a thing. You know, I always do a wrap up. Let me show you how, you know, here's a wrap up. Here's, here's scene one, the camera angle A. Then I switch up to camera B. And there it is right there is B. And it's just kind of a scene where you're seeing me from a, from a side. Now I cut back. And, uh, and then same way at the end. I cut to my, my drone. And then the music starts up. And see how my this is another cut. You start your music first, and then you bring in your scene. Let me, I'll show it to you again. And listen. And so watch. Music starts up. And then I cut over to my scene. And I throw my trivia in there. And uh, when I'm doing my trivia, I'm putting up what my, my screen is, what video it was, what the, what the question was. And uh, and then at the very end, of course, I show my wrap up, my light box photos. And again, I, there's another walking around there uh, with the drone shot. And so that's kind of the uh, the way I, I do things. Uh, that's kind of the the layout. And you can see right here, this is all video. This is all audio. The bottom two tracks. Everything up top is video tracks. Everything down low is uh, video tracks. And uh, and you'll notice how another cut in video is, is right here, is where the video comes to a stop, blank screen, then me coming in. But you notice how the music is playing on? And watch this. I'm, just, I'm still talking, but as I go to another scene here, the video, the music, the music, music stops. And you probably don't even notice that. Most people don't even notice that. That's an L cut. You know, they have L cuts, and they have J cuts. They have crossfades. And uh, a crossfade is just where uh, where you're doing something like when I was going down with my drone and I want to crossfade it into my, like right here, watch this. This is what a crossfade would be. I just crossfade into my drone shot like that. Now, I wasn't driving that fast. Actually, I sped. I was driving very slow with my drone in my hands. I was watching. I was driving down the road with a drone in my hand and uh, flying up, watching it in my hands on the camera. And, uh, and so that was, that's, that's one way of doing things like that. And uh, let me show you another way. All right, here's another video. This is episode 131 where research uh, is paying off, uh, where I'm showing you how I went out, out, did my drone and did some research and things like that. Again, you can see I'm, I'm hooking you here with a tease uh, of where we were at, uh, showing how this research really paid off, giving you an example of that. And that was me and Nugget Noggin. And then the music comes to a stop. We go to the intro. And then the music is still playing. Now watch this. And I begin to intro the, uh, the thing. Instead of walking down my sidewalk to my truck, this is another type of intro that I do. And uh, but notice the music just finally goes away. All right, L cut. You know, that's an L cut. Another J cut is kind of where you, you begin the music in a previous scene. 
and you're going into that scene and the music gets louder as you go to the next scene, then the music's going full, full, full speed with you. That's a, that's a J cut. A J cut, L cuts are pretty much the same. It's just a reverse with the video and the audio. You're leading in with a video or leaning, uh, leading in with an audio. Uh, then there's transitions where you take two clips and you like right here, you see on my screen and you can take two uh, and I can just do this X and that's a transition. That's a crossfade. Or you can go up here in the transitions and you can look over here in the, in the, uh, the panel. We have tons of transitions that you can do all different types. You can do clock sweep like that, a clockwise, a soft edge, just tons and tons and tons of different things. And I try not to get too sophisticated, but just to keep it simple, but I can do a lot, lot more. And uh, another thing that I wanted to show you is like, you know, how I'm talking here to you on the camera, looking at you like I'm doing right now, but on screen and I cut to my computer and I'm showing you kind of where the juke joint was cutting back to me. Then going back over here and cutting back to the things that we found at the juke joint. And um, that's another type of editing that you want to do. Uh, a lot of people, you know, pick up on that. And here's where I'm actually showing you my computer. And, um, and then, you know, putting arrows in there where I can show you uh, where I'm at and stuff like that. People like the arrows. They like to know where you are, what you're talking about. And another thing that I did... Uh, toward the end, I, I, I talked about, uh, let me get down here to it. And right here, I'm talking about, I've done my research, I've got permission, and now let's go out there and uh, let's take the drone up. And so you see me, and so the next scene, you're with me. I'm out here doing up the drone, and uh, I have a camera on my phone. I mean, right there on my drone, I have a camera you're looking at right now. And right here, there's a third camera, and that's going to be from the drone itself going up. So, again, three angles that I'm giving you on a lot of this. And, uh, and as I just cut back and forth, back and forth, and then I kind of get to the place, and I show you on the map all the way up, 400 feet so legally, I can fly my drone up that high. And right there is where we found all those coins on the video, Research Pays Off, that I did with Nugget Noggin that came out a little while back. But as I was finished the video, here's the thing I wanted to show you. I cut to myself talking about I want to bring my drone back in. And uh, so I bring my drone in and I show you where I'm at. I flip it around. I pan up. And there I am in the middle of the screen right here. And as I'm flying my drone in, uh I'm talking about it, and then I cut back to my drone coming in pretty fast. I slow it down, and I'm just showing you how I started my music into it, J-cut, and then hear me close, then me hearing the drone, then me catching the drone right there on the, on the camera B, and I'm going to see you out in the field, and the field that I was going to was the video called Barbers and Indians. It came out a little bit uh, ago, and so... Those are the things that we're talking about uh, doing. So we're going to stop the screen and we'll look at you. And so those are the J cuts, the L cuts. A J cut is got with a video. I mean, the music is leading into the, uh, the video and an L cut may be where the video is leading in into the music, uh, things like that. that. There's crossfade cuts that you can do, just simple cuts. So that's real, real easy to do. And uh, so it's, it's, it's a little bit more time consuming, yes. Uh, but it makes for a more interesting video because you're already subconsciously watching that when you're watching TV. When you watch TV, it's not just one camera on one thing going all the time. There's multiple angles back and forth. There's, there's the cross cut. A camera facing me as I'm talking, and then the music fades away, L cut there, and then I cut to Nugget. I got a camera sitting on him. His camera, my camera is running simultaneously. The only thing I wish in this, I had my mic on and I didn't. And uh, again, it's just, it's a cross cut, just a, a back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And it's all on the editing board that you make it look really good. I'm using one track of one camera. And, um, and so it, it's really, it makes it good. It makes it good when you're cutting back and forth, back and forth like that. That is another type of editing that, that you can do. And uh, so cross fades, uh, cross cuts like that, back and forth. Uh, different uh, wide angles, time lapse, drones, all that stuff can make for interesting, interesting videos. So 
try to do everything at once. Don't try to go out and buy everything at once. I didn't, I, I didn't myself. I started just accumulating things as I went along. But on each video, I try to incorporate a new uh, angle, uh, something to make. I, I try my, my game is that I play with myself is I want them to guess. How did he, I want you to say, how did he do that? How did he do that? That's kind of neat. You know, that is what I hope you get something out of this. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, by no means do I say that I'm the best, but it, uh, I'm working on it. And I'm always watching new videos on YouTube to find new ways to be creative with different angles and shots and camera equipment to make uh, YouTube videos very creative. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it pays off. I hope it's not too much. Just take a little bit. I don't take all this stuff out in the field. I just, uh, my dog's over here barking. I'm trying to make a video. Uh, can't cut that out. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. We're going to have a good time with it. So be watching. When you watch Preacher Digger videos, be looking for all the different angles and try to figure out how did he do that? Because I'm always doing it at least one time in each video. I'm trying to do that. So until I see you again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. <music>